Hello friends, this is Rohit Gupta. In this video, I have created a talent job which basically perform a set of operations which is like to query the MySQL database table and store that output into some out.csv file into the local machine and then I uploaded that out.csv file into the S3 bucket named talent upload and after that I truncated the MySQL database table the reason being I deleted the table is like I just wanted to uh, upload back the records from the SC bucket and the same I've performed over here and I performed some checks after deleting the out.csv file from the local machine and copy back that out.csv file from SC bucket to the local machine and uh, then I uploaded the records from out.csv file back to the MySQL database table. Let's see how about the configuration. So this is a talent test. This I copied from Metadata. So I copied it over here. So its configuration will consider about the metadata information. And this is a query. I query all the records from the talent test. This is the output delimited component and uh, I stored the output file into this location right now this is blank no output.csv file over here so I stored the file into this machine into this location this is the schema ID and name output should be same Then I use a tmap to show the output on the console. These are all the two fields and uh, output should be like this. I have formatted the output. I just wanted to get the uppercase which we can get over here a string handling. The uppercase. and T log row to get the output on the console so so if that component is okay then it should upload the file onto this bucket this is access key secret key region and this is the bucket name this is a bucket in which I just wanted to put the file right now as we can see it's blank no file is there so once it's done the talent test should be truncated after that the second flow should work like it should delete the file from this on the local machine I have mentioned this um, file name T for output delimited file name which is nothing but this location of the file so this component will delete the file it will list whether the output whether the folder is having that file or not this will check the existence of this file which is r.csv and if
and if the file is not present then flow should move ahead after that file should get copied into the local machine from the bucket tell and upload or .csv file into the local machine and this component will read the file from the local machine these are the two fields and finally it should get upload back into the MySQL database table the same property type it should be repository and you have to mention the metadata this field will automatically pull from the context file and the table name we can get it from here as well or you can manually enter and finally the output should be displayed on the console okay so this is the job let's run this job so right now this is blank couldn't find our load main class okay let me check the error okay let's have check okay so I got the r.csv file okay so I get the console output from here and after that the file should be uploaded on the ten upload refresh it okay I got the .csv file on the bucket as well okay after that the table should be truncated as per the job okay so everything worked at the lightning speed so it's loaded into the table okay so this is how it works so in the in this job we can see everything like how to query the database and store the output in the csv file then upload that csv file into the csv bucket and after that once it succeeded then it should uh, truncate the mysql database table after that we have deleted the csv file from the local machine and then get back from the csv bucket on the local machine and, and use that uh, csv file uh, and load it back to the mysql database and since the same time on the output console so so a lot of things we have uh, learned and we have seen from this job thank you so much for watching this video have a great day